Hi, I'm Dan with Pitsco for sciencespeed.com. Today we're here to talk about the benefits of the STEM activity of CO2 drag racing. So again, I'm here with Ray, who is a curriculum writer at Pitsco and a former classroom teacher. So Ray, would you say that the activity is just fun and games or do you, does it really provide actual opportunities for STEM learning? It's a lot of fun and games, but it's also a good activity for, for uh, learning STEM concepts. Uh, some of the things that we talk about in uh, building CO2 car racings are Newton's laws, uh, equal, equal and opposite reactions. Uh, there's force and motion things that we talk about. Uh, we talk about uh, different types of friction, like uh, uh, liquid friction, or the friction of the air traveling over the shape of the car body. And we also talk about the uh, mechanical friction of the axles turning uh, within, the, within a, uh, the car body itself. There are uh, references kind of on, uh, one of the things that we used to talk about on race day is uh, when you puncture the CO2 cartridge, uh, the gas pressure drops. And one of the, the unique characteristics of gas pressure when it drops is it lowers the temperature. So you can actually talk about how an air conditioner works based on uh, why a CO2 cartridge gets cold when you race a car. So one of the things I like about the activity is it uh, provides an opportunity for the students to experience the engineering process. Can you tell us about that a little bit? When we start out, one of the things we start out with is we can do a, a prototype with a styrofoam block and we can actually cut out the car and styrofoam and if you have wind tunnels you can put that in a wind tunnel and you can see the airflow how the, the air flows around that then uh, redesign make modifications to it which is part of the design process and then we go back to our block of wood we can rough cut the block of wood with a, a bandsaw or coping saw this one was cut out with a bandsaw then uh, we can refine that car a little bit we can put our wheels and axles on and we can conduct some tests and gather some data. And uh, we can put this, this object in a, a wind tunnel also and see what kind of force that is created. We can see the airflow, how it smooths over. Uh, we can roll it down a ramp and check and see if it runs straight or if it veers off one direction or the other. We can then make decisions based on that and refine our car down until we have the finished product. So we've gone through the cycle of testing and, and uh, redesigning and retesting. Can you talk a little bit about specifications as far as the measurements <clears throat> and the weight of the cars? Some of the specifications, uh, if they're working with TSA, with the national organization that has a contest, they vary their, their rules uh, occasionally, but the weight of the car the length of the car, how wide the car is, uh, the amount of wood that's left uh, as a safety margin around where the CO2 cartridge is hole is, hole is, uh, is one of some of the specifications. The length of the wheelbase is a specification. The distance between the screw eyes is one of the specifications that they have to do. So we use a go-no-go -no -go gauge to check some of those things. And so industry uses those kind of gauges also. So it's kind of a career uh, connection right there. And uh, the weight of the car, uh, students have to know that if they build their car this way, how much weight it is, they can weigh that, they can try to get their car. They want to get their car uh, because of uh, mass and acceleration, we want to get this car down as light as we can. So that's one of the things that, that they work on is, is the weight and that, that sometimes changes with national contests so that it uh, makes a new challenge every year. So you feel like that is a good experience for them to work inside the specifications while trying to optimize their design? Yes, yes, it's very good. I've had, I have uh, had students come up with a really cool looking design and then you start talking to them about uh, the constraints of the design specifications and then they suddenly realize they can't make that car because it's too short or it's, uh, it's going to be too small and uh, you know, we, have, we have to have a certain size in here to keep that from breaking 
you're talking about a car that's running 40 miles an hour down down a track and hit has to hit something at the other end to get it stopped a towel uh, to slow it down and stop it that can still break mm -hmm. so the strength of that is one of the engineering things that they have to do keep the weight down yet make it strong enough that it works doesn't break so it sounds like there's a lot of challenges building a car how do students enjoy it students enjoy it a lot i did this for 28 years in the classroom and i had uh, boys and girls in there that came in and and uh, sometimes you think you know that girls might not really be interested in designing a car but they really are uh, they may not be they may be intimidated a little bit at first with the machinery but once you've talked with them and shown them how to operate the machines say in a safe manner uh, and they get accustomed they'll get accustomed to using that it gives them a chance to, to grow a little bit and uh, get some confidence and uh, Girls will pay maybe a little more attention to how the car looks, maybe not as how much how fast it goes, but they will, girls will make sure that the nose is balanced just right, and uh, they'll they'll get a good shape. Uh, they'll put nice paint jobs on, and uh, they get really interested in it. And they they have the science concepts also. So this year we had TSA, which is the Technology Student Association conference, uh, a girl has won the last two years in the high school event. They're, they're, they, they, sometimes the girls will pay a little more attention to the details, which the details sometimes is what makes a car win. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. Please check out our other videos and our website at sciencespeed.com.